Are you just like me? Is your PC just absolutely trash? You're trash, kid. But yes, this really will all work. Don't just take my advice. You know, listen to what Kermit says about it. These tips. Yeah, they for airing, buddy. If your PC slow, Kermit knows they'll get your gaming ready. I'm a giga chat, coking out here on my lily pad. I optimize my PC, it's a havoc. Now you're really mad. Alright guys, so first things first, we're gonna do the Epic Games Launcher settings, and it's really basic, there's only a couple things we have to do. First, you're gonna go to your game library on the left hand side, you're gonna click these three dots here, you're gonna go to manage for Fortnite. So what this will do is give you this little window, all you need to do is click verify. So what this first does is it repairs your game files, it makes it run a little smoother if there's any errors, so something I always do. And another thing you're going to do is go into options. So I just had this enabled and I found out this is just a huge waste of space slowing down the PC. So when you open up your options for Fortnite, you're going to see this setting here, DirectX 12 shaders. You actually want to disable this if you're using performance mode. If you guys use DirectX 12, obviously leave that on. And WigglyRS confirmed for me on Reddit that performance mode uses DX11, so it is a waste of space. Which is ironic because that's what I was called all of high school. In fact, if you're using performance mode, the only thing that you need selected is just Fortnite Core and Battle Royale, which is this top one. Next thing we're going to do is you see here in the top right we have our profile. You're going to click on that and you'll see an option here for settings. Click on that. Once you have that window pulled up, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll notice the desktop notifications. Make sure these are off. I hate these. These pop up all the time when I'm playing Fortnite and doing other stuff on the PC. So if you don't like those notifications, turn them off. Uh, next thing you wanna do is come down to Fortnite and then you're gonna drop down that menu and you'll see additional command line arguments. Click that and there's only two that you need to put in here and that is no splash. And then for the second one, you're gonna do use all available cores. All one word as well. So you got no splash, use all available cores, with your little hyphen. Um, so what this does is it makes Fortnite actually use every single core in your CPU, makes it run more efficiently and can lead to higher FPS. It also allows um, no images, splash image uh, between your loading screens, which can just make your loading screens a little faster. Once you got all those in there, you're done with your Epic Game settings. All right, so blasting through to the next options, we're gonna type in visual effects you see this option here on Windows 10 and 11. And you'll notice these are usually on by default. If you have transparency effects on, it's just slightly using more resources on your PC. Same with animation effects. This is like swiping, whooshing, like flurry movements that your Windows um, uh, is doing like behind the scenes to slow down your PC. So turn both those things off. So another thing we're gonna do just for health of your performance here is type in adjust and you'll see adjust the performance and appearance of windows you're going to click on that now i don't just recommend going gorilla mode and turning every single thing off in here uh the reason being is some of them are actually <laughs> extremely helpful one of them that i turned off that was horrible was smooth edges of screen fonts i swear to god you'll never read a single text again on your pc if you turn this off make sure the smooth edges of screen fonts is on I like being able to see thumbnails in my file explorer make sure that's on uh, and yeah I have all these ones on that I feel like I need the animation ones definitely turn those off those are all weird the fading ones don't need those um, yeah and I think this is a good setup that you see right here all right next thing we're gonna do is go to your Fortnite Windows shipping file location I will show you how to do that open up your file explorer go into local C disk and then you'll see uh, where is it? Program Files. You're going to go to Epic Games and then Fortnite, uh, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. Don't worry about the other ones that are smaller in size. Focus on this big guy here, which is the entire bulk of Fortnite. You're going to right click it, go under Properties, and click on the Compatibility tab here at the top. 
So in this setting here, there's going to be a bunch of settings in here. The only one that you want ticked is disable full screen optimizations. So this just helps with performance a little bit. Um, it's optimal when you're using full screen to have this selected to disable full screen optimizations. It sounds counterintuitive, but believe me, it actually does help a bit with performance. Um, you're going to click on change. What was that? Uh, change high DPI settings down here and you'll see at the very bottom high DPI scaling override click this and this will be overridden by the application click OK and that's all the settings we're changing in Windows 64 shipping all right so next thing we're gonna look at is power plan options so you can just type in power and choose a power plan right here um, so you'll get some options here. You might not get the Razer Cortex one or my Hey It's Cameron one that I made specific for my PC, uh, but you will for sure see high performance. So I'd recommend high performance, but just be aware that if you're on a laptop, this will just kill your battery. So um, it's really helpful to have because it's going to make sure your FPS stays really high and it's using your system uh, to its max capability. But yeah, it's gonna like kill your battery. So make sure it's plugged in if you have a laptop. If you're on a PC, it may make your power bill go up. So um, that's another thing to be aware of. But uh, high performance all the way if you're wanting the best bang in terms of uh, performance on your PC. So the last really good tip I have for you guys is to open your task manager. Um, you guys have seen this before. Uh, it's pretty obvious, you know, what all this stuff is. But you can see every single resource that's running on your PC. If there's things you're not using, you can end the task right here. So you can just, you know, speed up your PC immediately by closing out stuff that is using resources that you don't want using resources. Another nice tip is you can click on these um, percentages here and it will list what is using the most at the top. So you want to see what's using the most of your CPU, you click on that and you can see that. Same with your RAM, which is your memory. You can see what is using most of your memory. You can also go over here to performance and you can get a direct correlation of when all your resources are being used. You can look at your GPU usage and Wi-Fi and all sorts of cra crazy stuff in there. So just another short, simple tip. Close out of stuff you're not using that you don't need, that you forget about. Um, that's just running in the background. Basically just using up your resources. And remember guys, if you didn't like the video already, Kermit the Frog from Fortnite will find you. He'll wait outside your window. Make sure that you get to sleep okay. He's a good guy actually. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, uh, <laughs> I hope this doesn't come across as too awkward. Um, I was just in the neighborhood and uh, it's raining out here. You mind uh, letting me inside just for like a little nap?